السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اب بریف نوٹس اباؤٹ ہیٹ ایکسچینجر ہیٹ ایکسچینجر واٹ از این ہیٹ ایکسچینجر بیسیکلی ہیٹ ایکسچینجر ورکس آن اے پرنسپل آف ایکسچینج آف ہیٹ فرام ون لکوڈ ٹو انادر اور یو کین سی ون فلوئڈ ٹو انادر ٹو فلوئڈ چینج دا ہیٹ between themselves so that's why the name itself says heat exchangers heat exchanger now modes of heat transfer what are the modes of heat transfer conduction convection radiation these three modes of heat transfer occur in a heat exchanger usually more convection and conduction is there than radiation radiation is very less in amount so what is conduction conduction is heat transfer within the same body through molecules okay if you heat a iron rod from one end suppose th there is an iron rod and if you heat it suppose this is the iron rod and you heat it here so the heat will slowly tra get transferred to until the other end of the rod so this is called conduction through the molecules convection what is convection if you heat uh, uh, suppose for example if you heat the uh, water so what happen the heat transfer from the bottom of the pan to the top okay this heat transfer takes uh, tr uh, takes through the movement of fluid it can be the movement of uh, water or it can be the movement of air okay if you supply hot air it can also be convection so heat transfer from one place to another by movement of fluids can be air or water any fluid okay so basically this is forced or natural natural is by the natural if you go outside now this uh, nowadays it is summer so if you go outside you feel the heat okay uh, that heat is uh, mixed it is convection also radiation from the sun okay so the movement of fluids and forced if you uh, you see to dry your hair we use hair dryer so a hair dryer it supplies us hot air to uh, and forced there is a fan it will force the hot air out of the hair dryer to dry your hair now radiation radiation is the heat transfer through electromagnetic waves now this radiation you can see in uh, from the sun you know sun when it supplies uh, heat through radiation so, so uh, the, uh, through the light the heat transfer through the light is also called radiation so conduction convection and radiation mostly it is convection and conduction and con uh, radiation uh, mostly it is convection mostly most major path then conduction then a little amount of radiation because if the heat e heat exchanger is outside or under the light radiation will occur. now a heat exchanger a heat exchanger is the equipment or device used to exchange heat between two fluids with different temperature without mixing them okay heat exchanger exchanges the heat between two fluids without mixing them the function of heat exchanger to cool a clu uh, cooler fluid by means of hotter fluid as i told you before it exchanges the heat between hot to cold cold to hot so there will be a uh, different uh, uses like for example heat a cooler fluid by means of hotter fluid and the opposite of it he uh, you can heat a fluid by using uh, hot fluid or you can cool uh, the fluid by use of cool cooler fluid okay to reduce the temperature of hot fluid by means of cooler fluid so these two are opposite points now here comes the interesting part to boil a liquid by means of hotter fluid now you need to boil sometimes chemical or process liquid uh, before uh, it ends into the system you need to boil so you supply some hot fluid to boil the liquid and it supplied so to boil the liquid 
and to condense the gases sometimes it is used for condensing some uh, type of gases before it enters into the system so heat exchanger is used and it is condensed by the means of uh, cooler fluid now general types of heat exchanger there are mainly basically main four types tubular heat exchanger plate type spiral heat exchanger and extended surface heat exchanger now i'll uh, show you the details of this four in the coming now types of heat exchanger as i told you before uh, there are uh, four type basically spiral heat exchanger the coils are spiral now extended surface this extended surface uh, heat exchanger it has fins you know uh, extended through the surface now uh, example for this one is uh, we have uh, a simple example our motorbike engine you see the engine of a motorbike it has fins coming out of the engine so these fins are for cooling the engine the air goes and gets trapped into this fins and cools the engine now plate type heat exchanger plate type heat exchanger is uh, used basically for less viscous uh, fluids usually for gases and all okay and we have this tube type heat exchanger your tubular heat exchanger this is the most common heat exchanger used in industries you know this uh, there are tube bundles and uh, shell and tube type heat exchanger basically this one is shell and tube type because there is a shell and there is a tube okay now this heat exchanger is widely used and they, it has many types like single pass double pass u u tube and uh, uh, cross flow parallel flow and very various types of heat exchanger it will be a big whole chapter if i speak about this one so i just uh, want to cut it down so the basically it it consists of tube bundle shell and there are baffles to obstruct the flow the the liquid which is uh, for example it is used for clue uh, for example guess um, let's take an example like it is used for cooling hot oil so the hot oil tube side flow in the hot oil oil will enter from here make u turn and go out now what will coo cool this hot oil is the uh, shell side in the uh, the cool cooler liquid will enter here in the shell and it will cool the hot oil in the tubes and come out from here so this is the uh, t shell and tube or tubular heat exchanger now main components of this uh, very important uh, heat exchangers are uh, mentioned below yeah, as i told you tube bundle is there and uh, you, you have this expansion joint in case uh, because uh, when we say heat exchanger there is a lot of heat involved so when there is heat involved then there is expansion uh, comes with the heat as well so there should be some expansion to tolerate uh, uh, you know uh, to give some flexibility to the heat exchanger so this is tube sheet as i told you uh, tube side inlet spy guard and the end cover these are the channel covers this is called the shell this is the vent for excess air or gases any uh, any unwanted gases or air you need to get rid of them this is for the drain and cleaning and heat exchanger maintenance itself is a big job it's very expensive job and critical job ok 